Mississippi River flooding scenes include a Bettendorf, Iowa fire department wading in chest deep water, putting out a garage fire, threatening to engulf a home. The flooding reminds me of an epic 1937 documentary film entitled The River that captured the worst Mississippi flooding ever with poetry and pictures and a power that made viewers cry. The film was so good, it was shown in movie theaters around the country and praised by Carl Sandburg and James Joyce. The floods back then were caused in part by poor mining, timber, and agricultural practices that resulted in soil erosion and water runoff. The story starts with a map showing the massive expanse of Mississippi River tributaries. From as far west as Idaho, down from the glacier peaks of the Rockies, from as far east as Pennsylvania, down from the turkey ridges of the Alleghenies, down from Minnesota, 2,500 miles, the Mississippi River runs to the Gulf carrying every drop of water that flows down two-thirds the continent, carrying every brook and rill, rivulet and creek, carrying all the rivers that run down two-thirds the continent, the Mississippi runs to the Gulf of Mexico. Black spruce and Norway pine. Douglas fir and red cedar, scarlet oak and shag bark hickory. We built a hundred cities and a thousand towns, but at what a cost. We cut the top off the Alleghenies and sent it down the river. We cut the top off Minnesota and sent it down the river. We cut the top off Wisconsin and sent it down the river. We left the mountains and the hills slashed and burned and moved on. For the water comes downhill, spring and fall, down from the cutover mountains, down from the plowed off slopes. From as far west as Idaho and as far east as Pennsylvania, down every brook and rill, rivulet and creek, carrying every drop of water that flows down two thirds the continent. 1903, Down from Pennsylvania and Ohio, Kentucky and West Virginia, Missouri and Illinois, down from North Carolina and Tennessee, down the Judith, the Grand, the Osage and the Platte, the Rock, the Salt, the Black in Minnesota, down the Monongahela, the Allegheny, Kanoa and Muskingum, the Miami, the Wabash, the Licking and the Green, the White, the Wolf, the Cash and the Black, down the Kaw and Kaskaskia, the Red and Yazoo, down the Cumberland, Kentucky and the Tennessee, down the Ohio, a thousand miles from Pittsburgh. Down the Arkansas, a thousand miles from Texas. Down to the Mississippi.
Greetings to Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge to Natchez. Natchez to Vicksburg. Vicksburg to Memphis. Memphis to Cairo. A thousand miles down the levee, the long vigil starts. 38 feet at Baton Rouge, River Rising. Hello, River Rising. Memphis, River Rising. Cairo, River Rising. A thousand miles to go. A thousand miles of levee to hold. Coast Guard patrol needed at Paducah. Coast Guard patrol needed at Paducah. 200 boats wanted at Hickman. 200 boats wanted at Hickman. Levy patrol, men to Blytheville. Levy patrol, men to Blytheville. Two thousand men wanted at Cairo. Two thousand men wanted at Cairo. A hundred thousand men to fight the old river. We sent every branch of the service down the river to help the sleepless engineers fight a battle on a two thousand mile front. The Army and the Navy, the Coast Guard and the Marine Corps, the CCC and the WPA, the Red Cross and the Health Service fought night and day to hold the old river off the valley. needed at Louisville, 500 dead, 5,000 ill. Food and water needed at Cincinnati. Food and medicine needed at Lawrenceburg. 35,000 homeless in Evansville. Food and medicine needed in Aurora. Food and medicine and shelter and clothing at 750,000 down in the valley. Last time, we held the levee, but the Mississippi claimed her valley. She backed into Tennessee and Arkansas and Illinois and Missouri. She spread her arms over thousands of acres of land, and she left farms ruined, stocked ground, houses torn loose. Nineteen three, nineteen seven, nineteen thirteen. 1916, 1922, 1937. We built a hundred cities and a thousand towns. But at what a cost. 